I'm a straight person. You're just like a shadow to everybody, you know? Los Angeles is America's homeless capital. Nothing. It's just total nothing. Over 70,000 men, women, and children foraging on our streets. I feel really alienated. One in three is mentally ill. William Laga is one of them. Like, actually, I'm a person. Seen as an easy mark, thieves prey on the mentally ill homeless. And according to the National Coalition for the Homeless, women and men, like William, are more likely to be abused, sexually assaulted, or even murdered on these streets. And I'm just too cold out there on the street, you know. With his piercing blue eyes, tweed coat, and tattered shoes, Laga is on the Westwood corner he calls home. Since being diagnosed with schizophrenia at 16, Laga tells me he's been pushed into society's shadows, sleeping on bus benches, his disease untreated. For 46 years, he's been abandoned, forsaken, unloved, and alone. Until now. I recognize him. I recognize his talent. I recognize him without knowing anything. Behind the weather-beaten brow and the long hair he tucks behind his ear, Atmosphere Art Gallery owner Marcel Danon saw his soul as an extraordinary painter. The light in his eyes when he's down to bed, it's a fantastic to, to see, to observe. Danon discovered Laga and his creative spirit Christmas Eve. Laga, along with several other Westwood homeless, were trying to take cover from the rain and cold. Amazingly, Danon's friend recognized Laga from earlier street paintings and simply said, this man does not belong on the streets. Without knowing anything about his past, Danon took Laga to her home, something he himself has not seen in over three decades. Now the unlikely pair have formed an inspirational friendship, a bond Marcel has dubbed Mondays with William. I love my Mondays with William. <laughs> Every Monday, Danon buys blank canvas, vibrant paints, brushes, but more than anything, she gives Laga dignity, respect, and a chance for a future. His happiness is really painting. Like many suffering with mental illness, Laga's art is his antidote. The chaos in his mind calmed by colors. His inner turmoil turned into outward beauty. He's like a small bird that uh, have been hurt and slowly by slowly we have to um, heal him. Researching Laga's past is difficult since he's been homeless so long. He has no driver's license, no teeth, his feet and hands swollen, possibly the first signs of diabetes. What we did find, astoundingly, Laga has been walking the 16 miles from Westwood to Pierce College in Woodland Hills to paint. He's been squatting in the art department for almost 27 years, sitting in on classes the art teachers here praise him. He has never hurt anyone, and the gym is where he can take a weekly shower. Back in Danon's art gallery, Laga proudly shows me his breathtaking paintings. A snake girl calls on in the beginning uh, uh, because I'm the girl's artist, right? William Laga may not be able to express himself verbally, but his paintings speak for him. He has a fear of closed in spaces so we keep the doors wide open. Dannon's goal? To sell enough paintings to get Laga off the streets. He's a very sweet heart. He needs to get out of the street for sure. As Monday comes to an end, more paintings gather in Dannon's gallery. Laga still may be homeless, but for the first time he can remember he is far from hopeless.
than some man walking around in circles with nothing to do. An extraordinary painter plagued by mental illness, hidden in plain sight. A street person with no studio in the art gallery. Shunned by family, cast out by society. I'm ready to paint. So I, wanted, I wanted to have everything, but I couldn't get it. I'm just ready to paint. And the woman who saw his soul, dedicated to changing Laga's life. I'm a person full of love, and I want to give love. And he gave me the opportunity of giving him love. And for me, it's a blessing. Then I was lucky I ran into Marcella, and then now she's got me painting again. It's a rare and almost inconceivable friendship we introduced you to a week ago. The homeless 62-year-old schizophrenic artist discovered on the streets by an elegant, internationally renowned art gallery owner. Through his painting, more he creates, more he will be happy, and more he will uh, be aware about his happiness and what brings him this happiness, you know, and then he's going to blossom. Now, who exactly is William Lacca? Could Marcel Danon be in danger? Questions so many of you asked, and because of our story, today we know much more about the beautiful mind behind these brush strokes. How do we get the doors open? When I first met Laga in Danone's Atmosphere Art Gallery in Los Angeles, he was skittish, suspicious, rambling at times. I'm going to stand by the door and answer questions now, okay? Because he's scared by confined spaces, we talked by the open door. He had trouble finding the right words to describe his technique, but it didn't take words to understand. I often think to myself, if Van Gogh or Basquiat were on the streets of Los Angeles today, we'd walk to the other side of the street. Nancy Carter, the executive director for the National Alliance on Mental Illness Urban Los Angeles, tells me many suffering with mental illness often excel and express themselves through art, though most never reach their full potential because those afflicted are often thrown away by society. Mentally ill people lose their friendships, some of them lose their families. And that's exactly what put Laga on the streets. We found his family on Facebook. They live in Michigan. We learned his mother, in her 80s, is still alive. He has no brothers or sisters. A cousin told us Lacker ran away from home after his family tried to hospitalize him to treat his disease. Being so young, he was hard to track. Slowly, Lacker just slipped away from his family and into society's shadows. Lacker became what he calls a lost boy. If you've been out there on the street too long, you know, and you've been out there just like a lost, uh, like a lost point. He hasn't seen a doctor in years. He owns only the clothes on his back. He sleeps on benches or in the bushes. He has nowhere to paint, no place to store his works of art. All Laga has is a friend. So we're going to have the studio very soon. Danone's Mondays with William are the only thing Laga can count on. But is Danone doing the right thing? befriending a homeless man knowing nothing more than the canvas he paints. 100%. It's people with hearts that can connect with a person with mental illness, who don't walk to the other side of the street when they see a homeless person, but who want to engage, who want to be a friend. And I've been seeing you for how long now, Bert? I mean, a long time, right? And, and I never, ever knew. My name is Alex Pope. And since our story aired, people are no longer crossing the street to avoid Lagan. Instead, they're stopping to meet him, treating him like a person. He's a great human being. The master of Westwood. Western of Westwood. So, uh, this is like this is where... For the first time in almost 47 years, his life has worth. He's acknowledged, uplifted, even celebrated. With each Monday, his shadow slowly turns into light. A lost boy finding his way home.
A home show. A home show here. The, the, I'm the house artist here. You're the house artist? Yeah, the house artist. I'm Marcel's house artist. Waves of blue, greens, shocking gold, and glittering reds set against the beautiful backdrop of the dramatic Hollywood Hills. Canvas after canvas, more awe-inspiring than the next. And I'm blown away. Art lover Melissa Kelly did not know what to expect when she was invited to William Laga's first art show on Saturday evening. They're beautiful. They're inspiring. I love them. There's a wonderful darkness to them that's like haunting, but at the same time, there's this light in every single one that's inspiring. Yet she chooses the same words I would use to describe Laga himself. His paintings, perhaps a reflection of what could be going on in his mind. Beauty mixed with bedlam, tranquility turned into turmoil. You're gonna say, oh, paranoid schizophrenic, and then it's their cover up the, uh, uh, the dental implants and they just destroy everybody's teeth. As dusk seeps in and the paintings seem to glow against the mountain sky, Laka tells me he paints what's in his mind, but vehemently denies being mentally ill. I'm not mentally ill and I'm an advanced person. His denial, experts say, par for the course of a homeless schizophrenic who has been living on the streets for almost 47 years, untreated and alone. Soon, his ramblings of germ warfare, government conspiracies, take over our deck site conversation. They implant the population with the implants and you can see out their eyes. But I nor the other guests mine. This is a celebration. This is Marcel Danone's proud collection of her Mondays with William. I'm very proud. I'm very proud to see all our Mondays together, finally. You know how many Mondays we paint? And we paint each Monday the color and now they're all together here with you, with Isn't Pat, who is amazing. With every painting done on cells, Laga is one step closer to a studio. Every canvas sold brings him closer to home. She's amazing. I mean, you know, very, it's not very often that you have like a benefactor for the art. As guest Kristen Jewell admires the rich colors, the texture and movement, she finds it hard to imagine William Laga's talent was almost lost forever. He's very blessed to have her, very blessed. And she's very blessed to have him. As night falls and the last guest leaves, several paintings have been sold, but not enough to keep William Laga off the streets. Laga heads back to his Westwood bench, looking forward to yet another Monday, another chance to paint, another opportunity at life. Once a shadow in the streets of L.A., he is now a glowing international artist. And we first brought you the story of homeless painter William Laga, an artist whose amazing gift took him across the world to the City of Lights. CBS 2's Pat Harvey takes us to William's first international gallery show in Paris. As the sun sets over the Eiffel Tower, Los Angeles art gallery owner Marcel Danon is back in the bustling, breathtaking city she once called home. The street Rue du Cherche Midi is quite a known street in Paris, and I was living here during 15 years, so I know everybody in the neighborhood. And this restaurant, which is a cafe, is one of the best in the street, number one. And number two, to make an opening in a cafe is very trendy now. The designer returning to the capital of France for an exclusive art show for William Laga, a homeless schizophrenic painter Danon discovered on the streets of Westwood. And what is fantastic for me, they love the paintings. <laughs> Here we are in Paris. I'm looking at these paintings and they look so new, so different. How have they evolved that when, when we first met and William started to paint? Well, this is a magic story. William was in the street. William has the opportunity of painting. William has a studio today. William sleeps in a bed. William has a shower. And William is in Paris. <laughs> I mean, all that talent is blossoming. The talent is here. He is a real artist. French people love his painting that I was really worried about. Please, to Paris, it's not easy. Absolutely. The professionals are here. Professionals are here. They all look at the painting. After being carefully packed up, shipped out, and mailed across continents, today, 
Bannon's Mondays with William proudly hang in this Parisian cafe, ready to be sold, ready to help change William Laggett's life back in California forever. Yum. There is a movement, there is a life, an energy that is incredible. Voila, it is really genius. Though we may speak different languages, it seems here in Paris, William Laga's abstract art breaks down all barriers. So many people have come here to admire the talent of a man who was almost lost and forgotten on the streets of Los Angeles. It's fantastic. And the very first time I met him and we started to play, I told him, William, I'm going to Paris. <laughs> and when people were looking at him painting, he was telling back, he was painting, I'm going to Paris. <laughs> I can tell you, the soul of William is here. I can feel it every corner of this place. On the cobblestone streets of France, the vibrant mixing of colors, the chaos and calm of Laga's smooth brushstrokes are respected and touted by art lovers, critics, plus the people of Paris. Uh, I thought it was striking enough to purchase one instantly. What went through your mind when you first looked at these paintings? That it would go well in our apartment. <laughs> <laughs> so you like them right away? Yes. So for the mentally ill man who once considered himself a shadow, now from the streets and bus benches of Westwood to the heart of Paris, Laga's artwork shines, not only bridging two cities once worlds away, but giving hope to everyone in between. Pat Harvey, CBS2 News. If you'd like to buy one of William Lagas' paintings or learn more about him, you can go to our website, cbs2.com, and click on Seen on TV. And there's also a footnote to Pat's story on William Laga. A trust fund has been set up so that all the proceeds from the sale of all the artwork that he's done will go into this trust fund to help take care of him.